TOFDS is the new software suite developed to optimize GCMS productivity when using Benchtoft time of flight mass spectrometers. It incorporates full instrument control as well as novel data processing tools. From the main TOFDS homepage, we can see the modules for instrument control, sequencing for sample acquisition and post analysis batch processing, qualitative and quantitative analysis, and finally, comparative analysis by Chrome Compare. Like Benchtoff, TOFDS is platform neutral, which means that users can configure their preferred auto sampler and GC, minimizing any training requirements or the use of multiple software platforms. The required components are simply selected from the list and then they appear in the Configured Instruments panel on the right-hand side. Hovering the cursor over this icon shows a pop-up status panel, which can be very helpful for monitoring instrument progress. For example, in the case of the GC, you can monitor whichever parameters you want in these four windows. You can select these from the drop-down list, but the default settings are the most popular choices. You can also monitor the progress of the GC oven ramp. Under the last three tabs are the set point and actual values for all the parameters, details of any valves, and the ready status for the instrument. The same feature set is available for the bench TOF, where we have the graphs monitoring the four most popular parameters, namely transfer line temperature, ion source temperature, ionization voltage, and filament voltage. The bench TOF is currently in standby mode, as indicated at top right. Note that it drops into standby mode after a period of no operation, so that if, for example, the GC developed a major leak overnight, then the bench TOF would be protected. You can bring it out of safe standby mode by simply pressing the ready button. The features in the sequencer module have been designed to enhance workflow for both method development and routine analysis. There are a number of time-saving features included within the sequencer. Firstly, you can prepare sequences for acquisition using the configured instrument, as well as for post-analysis batch processing. So if you wish, you can batch process at the same time as acquiring samples, because you have two independent areas for making up these sequences. Next, you'll notice that there's just one global method which controls all configured instruments. Looking at this global method, you'll see this handy overview box at the top, which shows a roadmap of the method. In this case, we have the auto sampler, the GC, bench TOF, and then any processing for the data file. One of the unique features of TOFDS is the ability to do real-time data processing meaning that whatever data processing features you add to this method will be performed in real time. For example, the peaks appearing in the chromatogram can be integrated, background subtracted, deconvolved and library searched, all while the sample is still acquiring. This means that you don't have to wait around for any results. The icon-based roadmap makes it easy to add in additional processing branches. Each section of the global method has a different tab, containing any parameters that can be changed. One tab for the auto sampler, one for the GC, with various sections like oven control and column configuration, and one tab for the bench TOF. You may have noticed the padlocks next to many of the instrument parameters. These are unlockable parameters, which can be unlocked from the method into the sequence table. Unlocking the GC oven ramp and the Benchtoff ionization energy means that when we save this method, additional columns for the oven ramp and ionization energy now appear in the sequence table. These unlockable parameters simplify method development by allowing variables, like the GC oven ramp or split ratio, to be altered without creating hundreds of methods. In the case of the GC oven settings, you can simply double-click to expand the view and then change the ramp to whatever settings you require. You can see that the maximum oven temperature and the total run time are also shown. So if you have a long list of samples in your sequence, you'll have all the information at a glance. 
Unlocking the ionization energy is also very important for the benchtop select, which includes our novel Select EV Variable Energy Ionization. This is a hassle-free way of carrying out soft ionization, which is fully controlled by the TOF DS software. You simply tune the instrument at a given ionization energy, between 70 and 10 EV, and then run your samples at that ionization energy. TOF DS also allows sequences to be prioritized. To run these samples, you simply click the Start button and a window appears allowing us to repeat this sequence or prioritize it, either after the current sample has finished or after the current sequence. This means that if you have unstable or very urgent samples, they can jump to the start of the queue. The combination of all of these features makes TOF DS ideal for carrying out complex workflows, especially when coupled with the high performance of the bench TOF.